with SNB. It's probing. You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it all about? Beckoning on you occupying that public office to give account of your stewardship. To be, to be that point, he's the executive governor of this state and he's the leader and head of our, of our party. Politics on the menu. I don't know what will happen. The governor leads whatever directive he brings, I will follow. What about the surprises? Action that I was set them to follow will be taken for my witness. I will surprise them. Watch Stewardship at 12.30 p.m. on weekdays. Stewardship with SNB, a new trajectory to broadcast journalism. Join us. Stewardship with SNB. Thank you, gentlemen of the press. And great to have you guys within a short period of uh, time and we apologize for starting late we're supposed to roll by 3 p.m we apologize for that um we are here in reaction to the judgment that has just been uh, delivered uh in river state by their people and to clear some of the misgiving and propaganda that is flying uh, around the summary and implication of what happened today is that the pro Nwike 27 sacked lawmakers remain sacked. Their seat remains vacant as appeal courts didn't decide on the legality of their decapment and declaration of their seat vacant. Appeal courts didn't today void the declaration. They did not void the declaration of the seat of the 27 pro Nwike lawmakers. Now, I need to take you people a little bit back. The subject matter before the appeal court that was decided was mainly an issue of jurisdiction on the interlocutory injunction that was obtained by the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Okajumbo. And the appeal court feels in its wisdom that uh, issues surrounding the government that the right court that have uh, jurisdiction is the federal high court and on that side he set aside the proceedings of uh, the river state house of assembly and uh, there was no order on any action or any issue so the implication of this is very simple no courts in nigeria to today have decided on the legality or illegality of the decampment that have given a final judgment on the issue of decampment the implication of that is that the votes and proceedings of the River State House of Assembly, led by the then Speaker, Edison Ehi, as of December 13, 2023 or thereabouts, which declared the seat of the 27 lawmakers is still very valid. I have not been nullified by any court. The implication of that is that uh, Speaker, former Speaker Amwefla and his group of 27 are still up to this moment, not members of the River State House of Assembly until there is a contrary judgment or finality on that matter as we progress. Now, like I said before, and I will repeat, the pro Nwike 27 sacked lawmakers of the River State House of Assembly remain sacked. Their seat remains vacant. The appeal court didn't decide on the validity of their illegal decampment, nor the declaration of their seat vacant. The appeal court focused today on declaring that the federal high court is the court with jurisdiction to decide on the issues that were earlier on brought before the River State High Court. The former speaker, Edison Ehi, and uh, led House of uh, Assembly then, and the vote and proceedings that declared the seat of the 27 lawmakers vacant is still valid and is a subject of pending litigation in different federal high courts. Now let us understand this fact very clear. What did the provision of section 109-1G say? The provision of section 109-1G 
of the 1999 Constitution as amended is very clear. It's an automatic provision because we need to understand what is in context. What are we fighting about? He said that a member shall vacate. The word there is shall, mandatory. It's, it's a clause that is self-activatory. It activates itself. That a member shall vacate his seat in the House of Assembly if being a person whose election to the House of Assembly was sponsored by a political party, he becomes a member of another political party before the expiration of the period for which that house was elected. Is this confusing? Is it difficult? So the very moment that those 27 group of lawmakers with their own match say they have left the People's Democratic Party and joined another political party without fulfilling the provision of 1091G, where he said, provided that his membership of the later political party is not as a result of a division in the political party of which he was previously a member, or of a merger of two or more political parties, or factions by one of which he was previously sponsored. So, at the moment they left, there was no merger. At the moment they left, there was no division. So that very moment you left, your seat automatically became vacant because it was very clear that that seat, a member shall vacate his seat in the House, being a member, being a person whose election to the House of Assembly was sponsored by a political party, he becomes a member of another political party before the expiration of the period for which that House was elected. So the 27 of them were not members of that Assembly. And what was left in that Assembly was what was then led by A.D. Sinehi, which sat and also had a proceedings on December 13, 2023, and declared those seats vacant. That declaration is still valid and have not been voided by any court. Today's judgment was on the issue of jurisdiction on the interlocutory order of the ongoing proceedings in the River State High Court. That has not returned anybody as a lawmaker. Because if somebody is trying or thinking that he can use this to start causing commotion, I will urge the reverse people to stand firm and resist that person. Now, it's very important I draw your attention to this also. That going by the letter that was written to INEC then, which was very clear, it said, Notice of vacancies in the River State House of Assembly, portion to Section 1091G and 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and request for conduct of fresh election in the 25 state constituency in the River State House of Assembly. I write to formally bring to your notice vacancies in the seat of the underlisted constituency and membership portion to section 1091G of the Constitution. The underlisted members who represented the respective constituency indicated against their name jointly and severally decamped from the PDP under whose platform they were elected to the APC on the 11th day of December 2023. As a result, and in accordance with Section 1092 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 as amended, and by the resolution of the House of Assembly at the ninth legislative sitting of the River State House of Assembly, held on Wednesday, 13th day of December 2023, their seats were declared vacant. Consequently, I write on behalf of the River State House of Assembly to kindly request for a by-election to be conducted to fill the vacant seat in the River State House of Assembly. The vacant seat and former members are Tony Williams Queen Owa Ahoda East, on Abbe Peter and Emenye, the Gema State Constituency, John Dominic Iderima, Abu Aodua State Constituency, Jack Major, Akuko Toro State Constituency, Honorable Christopher Andoni State Constituency, Honorable Tekari Wellington, Asori Toro State Constituency, George Eneni Abo, Asara Toro State Constituency 2, uh, Honorable Isaiah Asoro Akuko Toro State Constituency 2, Honorable Igwe Afoji LMA State Constituency, Emeji Justina, Emoha State Constituency, Anwuka Obenechi, Eche State Constituency 1, Wankwo Chimeze Krisan, Eche State Constituency 2, Mwa Dumel Gokona State Constituency, Honorable Lemchi Ikwere State Constituency, Honorable Bali Kana State Constituency 1, Honorable Amoe Wula Martins Chike, Obia Post State Constituency 1, Honorable Amadi Emily Lucky, Obia Post State Constituency 2, 
Honorable Wan Bochi Franklin Uchenna, Obua Eboma Andoni State Constituency 1, Honorable Ezeko Nkenjiki Joma, Oba Eboma Andoni State Constituency 2, Honorable David Okobiri Arnold, Ogo Obolo State Constituency, Honorable Wan Kwasi Venus Enyina, Amuma State Constituency, Honorable Foji Gerard, Oyibo State Constituency, Oyibo State Constituency, Honorable Mwami Solomon, Watako State Constituency 1, Honorable Akwara Azaro, Watako State Constituency 3, Honorable Bernard Beredimwe, Thai State Constituency, attach a copies of the audios, visual, and print evidence of their defection. Signed, Honorable Ehi Ogrenye Edison, then Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Now, the point I was trying to make by bringing this to attention, this was communicated to INEC for the conduct of by election, even though it's still surprising to us why INEC have not proceeded to conduct uh, the by election because there is no judgment anywhere in Nigeria forbidding that. And also, I will draw your attention to uh, the votes and proceedings, the votes and proceedings of the 90th Legislative Day being Wednesday, 13 December 2023, where the House adopted the vote and proceedings uh, that declared the seat vacant. What points are we trying to make? That the seat of the 27 lawmakers have been declared vacant, and there's no judgment that have quashed that uh, declaration of those seats vacant, and there's no court anywhere in Nigeria that have decided that they are cross capitating from uh, PDP at the time there was no division to APC is legal. And let us be mindful of the conversation we're having in the public space. Are we not saying because of the voting ambition of one man that our constitutional democracy and constitutional match should be retarded? That somebody is fighting and because of his desperation, he gets some young men in the House of Assembly to jump into another political party when there was no division in their desperate way to force Fubara out of office unconstitutionally. And suddenly they realized the stupidity in their action. And then suddenly they are running around all courts in Nigeria so that our court will say what? Our court will void those provisions of our constitution. Is that going to be a progress that lawmakers can jump ship at any time they like and then remain in office? Even when there's no prevailing need or reason for that. That is what... Stewardship with SNB. SNB. A brother is not found only in one who has blood relationship with you. Sometimes a friend can be more than what a brother can do for you. Uh, Ikenga Ukuchinyere, representing Idiato North South constituency in Imo State, from uh, on the platform of uh, his party and this, in the National Assembly, has indeed proven that he's a friend of River State, he's a friend of the governor, he's a friend of all the right thinking people in this country and of course in this state. And that he is not only uh, speaking truth to power, but he's only defending democracy as the governor of River State, Sir Simla Fubra, has only defended democracy and that's why we are where we are. We heard Hugo uh, uh speak eloquently there about the, the judgment, uh, the ruling by the appeal court yesterday that got some persons dancing in their parlors, dancing at their parlors and elsewhere as though they were not reading in between the lines you know, the law is not written in Greek it is not written in Latin it is not written in one native language it is written in the official uh, government language of government, English so you must be a lawyer to be able to know what is right or from what is wrong but I'm not a lawyer too, but from a vantage position, I should be able to know what is really going on with the interpretation, with the, the ruling of the appeal, appeal court. Well, in his interpretation of the verdict, uh, Mr. Ugochiri said that the court of appeal did not rule on the legality of the campaign and the main substance of the matter. What was the main substance? The appeal court did not discuss the, the campaign. You know, that is to say, those who left party A to party B, the matter was not mentioned before the appeal court. What was mentioned was a matter of jurisdiction. Whether the lower court, sorry, whether the state high court was had the jurisdiction to entertain, you know, this matter before it. 
you know. And it is only the federal high court that has a jurisdiction. This is actually the interpretation of the, so the appeal court ruling yesterday. And it got everybody thinking, you know, those who have evil mechanization, you know, ran to the social media. And social media was, was awash with the untruth. But we had to speak the truth. Just moments ago, uh, the River State Hub Assembly from a, 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 a relief from the River State Hub Assembly led by Oko Jobo has indicated that it is heading to the Supreme Court against army with led lawmakers. It says that there can, can, there can be two assemblies uh, in a state and that uh, it is asking the court, the INEC, to conduct uh, a by-election to fill vacancies and that uh, this is a situation uh, as we speak. It reads in part that the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Victor Okojobo, uh, has declared that the State Assembly is appealing the judgment delivered by the, uh, the Court of Appeal on the jurisdiction of River State High Court to hear the matter on suit number PHC slash 1512 slash CS slash 2024, describing it as a miscarriage of justice. Right Honorable Okojobo made this known on Friday, that is today, at the sitting of the Assembly in Portugal, saying that the House has directed its legal team to urgently proceed to the Supreme Court to challenge the ruling by the Appeal Court. It averred that contrary to speculations, that the Court of Appeal did not make any declaration that Martin and William and 24 others did not defect from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress Neither did the appeal court also declare them as members of the Royal House of Assembly. The appeal court did not declare them members of the House of Assembly. The appeal court said that the matter that was brought before the State High Court was wrong and that they should all revert to the Federal High Court, which has a jurisdiction to hear the matter. The Speaker emphasized that there cannot be two houses of assembly in River State or in any state in Nigeria. Adding that Amiwili and his team, in spite of all their pretenses, are no longer members of the Royal State House of Assembly, in line with the earlier declaration by the Right Honorable Edison here, which has not been vacated by any court of competent jurisdiction. This is the position of the uh, Okotobo Led Assembly as we speak today. You know, there can be two houses for assembly. The court did not say that. You know, uh, it, it is no longer vacating, or I believe and 24 others should return to their seat. It didn't say so. It didn't say so. So we should be able to understand what is really going on. But I'm not going to do the talking alone today. Uh, I'm joined in the live studio. Uh, don't be surprised, she's not a lawyer, but a very concerned citizen of this country and of this state. She lives in Houston, Texas, and then she has been here for some time because of all of these problems that are rocking. Uh, River State. She has been on this program, this is the third time she's been here, and that she has refused to go until there is peace in the state. And she has returned to the studio to talk a little bit about what's going on. Uh, off camera, she whispered to me that she saw some women dancing, you know, as if jubilating that, oh, um, there's more problem for the governor. She said, no, there cannot be any problem for the governor. By this misunderstanding and a misinterpretation, misinformation, this information of the appeal court ruling. I'm joined in live studio. I don't know that person, very regular, very dependable Princess Suala Lawson Jack. She represents a reverse woman in diaspora. Princess Suala Lawson Jack, once again, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Mm. I wanted to ask you why you are you are done with this uh, with one piece uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you have explained before. Yeah. Uh, you you are brought into the governor's. Uh, peaceful disposition, you want peace in, in, the, in the state. Yes. But as a layman, uh, what is your understanding of the people controlling on the matter between Jumbo and Namiwili? Going further. It is self-explanatory SMB. I am not a lawyer, yet I'm able to read in between the lines that nothing about the 25 lawmakers that decided to decamp from PDP to APC that we all witnessed on air was mentioned in yesterday's uh, judgment really? and ruling. It was a case of jurisdiction 
that the high court doesn't have the power to entertain the such matters. Mm. The state high court mm. does not have the power to entertain such matters that it has to be taken to the federal high court. That's just it. So I was wondering, you know, did I hear very well or what's going on? The jubilation and, you know, causing mayhem, you know, wounding each other. I mean, all the time we come back to the youth. Mm. Times like this, you know, I have passion for the youth. It comes back to them because they are the ones that are fooled. They are the ones that are misled because they don't have that patience to know the truth of the issue before they take it out to the street. And that is so sad. Mm. Okay, so what would you say is a feeling of the average U.S. band about this judgment? You've been in town for some time. You've Absolutely. Up. Not mm. just been in town, but I have been amongst the people. SMB, me, I've, I've refused to drive, so I've been jumping, taxis, mm. you know, buses, you know, feeling the pulse of the people. And I can tell you that um, a lot of them are not happy with what, what is going on. They are at a loss. Why are we here in the first instance? Why is River State in this conundrum? Why are we in this place that we are, we are right now? Just like Ogo Chinyue said. He said just because of one man. Mm. Last, last week we talked about not throwing the baby and the bad water. But again, why should we always come back to the same thing? You know, because when I saw the women dancing and saying, singing praises of, um, I will mention his name, the FCT minister. Mm. I said just one thing. Do we need a prophet to tell us? He isn't the serving governor. He's not even, <laughs> for crying out loud, he has so much to do. There in FCT, can he allow peace to reign in River State? We don't need a prophet to tell us where the problem, the sorrows of River State is coming from. But he's still our brother. There's nothing we can do about that. But let peace reign. And that is why I'm still wearing this t-shirt. And I'll keep wearing this t-shirt mm. until you we get to feel... <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take it with me. You know, I'll take it with me. So keep preaching this uh, gospel of peace. They say justice is blind, but the justices are not blind. Mm -mm. In what ways do you think that uh, the judge the, or the judges have compounded the problems that confront us headlong? It's compromised, but you see, I will give it to the two people. Is it uh, Barista Darlington or somebody that was speaking yesterday on Arise TV? Mm. Or is it Douglas or somebody like that? I will give it to them that they are trying to rescue the image of the judiciary. That is what they are trying to do. But let them do it at the cost of, you know, letting falsehood die. Mm. We can't thrive on falsehood because we want to, you know, wash our image. Of course, the image of the judiciary is at a zero right now. Because like we said the last time, they are totally compromised. Mm. And they are the problem right now that we are having. And if they truly want to do the right thing, they have to stand on the truth. They have to do it, you know, speaking the truth to power. We have said it countless times on this program. The only thing that will save Nigeria, the only thing that will save River State, is truth to mm. power and let me just uh, let me not take so much of your time but let me just say this we shouldn't forget how we got here to start with rivers people should not forget how we got here why should we be here in the first how instance did here? how did we get here just one man decided that river state is his state that he can execute the way he likes you know like i heard him clearly i'm sure everybody in river state and all over the world also heard him when he said he bought uh, uh forms for everybody he made everybody uh, who they are today and that's why people are singing his praises but we want to say it here and now and so clearly that he is just a citizen 
of Nigeria and of River State. He is our brother, but he has done his tenure. As a governor of River State, he's done. He came, he came on as a governor on the structure built over time by the people ahead of him. So when he's talking about structure, uh, structure, structure, whose structure is he actually talking about? On whose structure did he come on as a governor? That's how we go here. Because he thinks and feels what he says and does is final, is sacrosanct, but that is not true. River State is more than one man. And here, and to every well-meaning rivers person, River State comes first. And that is what we are preaching. And that is the peace we are taking to the last man mm. on the street. Princess Lossi Jack, uh, the minute past council chairman, who relied on an obnoxious law, ten on tenure negotiation, uh, were seen on social media celebrating that uh, at last they have got judgment. Do you think that this can make them have a bold step to re-enter the council secretariat? Don't forget the council secretariat have been uh, barricaded by the Nigerian police, who are on the side of the pro-wiki uh, people. It's high time it's high time we tell ourselves the truth. It's high time. It's so unfortunate that we are making ourselves enemies rather than binding ourselves with love. Going back to that peaceful ambience that River State is known for, the brotherly love that we talked about last time, that we know everybody. Everybody belongs to everybody. And it's so unfortunate that for the past I still repeat, for the past 24 years, we have created more enemies within ourselves than friends, not to talk of brotherhood. So if they are rejoicing, I want to ask them, why are they rejoicing? Whom are they rejoicing over? It would be so like hard for me to say that we lack, let, let me say we, I will not say they lack understanding of the judgment it doesn't have anything to do with elongating their time they have done their tenure of three years and that is what it is the governor has said what he wants to happen in the state a timetable has been set to uh, for the uh, local government uh, elections sometime in october and that is what it is by the special grace of god it's going to happen by the special grace of god all this will die down if the last man on the street, as the river's man, decide now that they want only the truth to prevail mm -hmm. over evil. All right, we'll take a short break. Uh, we're talking to Princess Suala Ross and Jack. She is the representative of uh, Rivers Women in Diaspora. Uh, she's here in the studio. She has always been here. This is the third time she'll be here to talk about the crisis rocking River State. We'll take a short break. When we return, we'll talk more about what is happening in the state. Stay with us. Stewardship with SNB. Stewardship with SNB. It's proven. You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it all about? Beckoning on you occupying that public office to give account of your stewardship. To be, to be that point, he's the executive governor of this state and he's the leader and head of our, of our, of our party. Politics on the menu. I don't know what will happen. The governor leads. Whatever directive he brings, I will follow. What about the surprises? Action that I've accepted to follow will be taken for my witness. I will surprise them. Watch Stewardship at 12.30 p.m. on weekdays. Stewardship with SNB, a new trajectory to broadcast journalism. Join us. Stewardship with SNB.
those days, both in the Western uh, Regional House of Assembly, and so that even led to a crisis and military coup. This commotion, when people see simple truth, did they not decamp? Yes, they decamp. Did they not have a vote and proceeding back this? Yes, there is. Did they not publicly say it? Yes, they did. Did they not file it in affidavit before uh, Justice uh, Omotosho and other federal high court judges that they left PDP as of December 2023? Then why are you holding on, on a tree fighting to remain as members of the House of Assembly for the purpose of unconstitutionally removing a sitting governor because he fall out with your godfather? So the point we are trying to make here is that all these pressures that is being brought and that is being put on our judiciary is unnecessary. Because it's about one man. And I want the judges of different courts to also listen to me. Why do I keep warning about this? Only to the constitutional crisis of the 60s or the 80s. And it was the involvement of the courts and the federal institution, both police, in trying to aid those at the federal center then, to try to overrun state constituted authorities and institutions in pursuit of narrow selfish interests. And we must not allow that to happen. Judgment apart from legality and technicality has public interest. It is in public interest that lawmakers learn to stay in their political party unless there is a division upon which they can move. There was no division. And I know there is no court in Nigeria. There is no court that is just and fair that can wake up and say that Section 1091G, which says clearly that your seat stands vacant, stands declared vacant once you cross carpet from the political party you are elected to another political party without a division or merger in that political party. They were not even expelled by their political party. There was even no division. There was not even merger. The audacity to try to legalize or searching for desperate judicial avenues to legalize and then torpedo the provision of section 109 by now saying that those who left before your own very eyes, everybody saw the, even the, the, the video recording of the proceedings of their decampment, even on Chadez TV and other stations. Everybody have seen the affidavit they saw at the Federal High Court that they left with no single reason. Are we going to support that? So I don't believe heads of judicial authorities and institutions in Nigeria, whether the Federal High Court or the Appeal Court and the Supreme Court should understand that the whole world is watching. And we cannot, our country is so big, our constitutional match is so big, the interest of one man is irrelevant. And people should be bold enough to start speaking on that issue. Those seats are vacant. Those seats have been declared vacant. And there's nothing that can bring those people back. If they want, they can go and recontest the election and allow by election to hold. So there is nothing today that gets them any victory. What happened today, and it's important Nigerians get it very clear, what is about the interlocutory injunction from the River State House of Assembly, which went to appeal, even though we, 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 we disagree by the interpretation that the appeal court gave today. But as constitutionalists and law-abiding people, we accept. And that's why there will be some appeals and uh, challenge in that direction. But what happened, there was an interlocutory application, an injunction, not even a judgment, an, an interlocutory application granted by Justice Wally or so at the River State House of Assembly, which came on appeal, even when they were not party. They were joined, and then the court now said, he's setting it aside, and that the court have no jurisdiction. That was all. Has also got to do with the fact that as of December 13, 2023, the seat of this pro weekend lawmakers have been declared vacant. What has it got to do with the fact that those votes and proceedings have been legalized and also communication made to any when Eddie Sinehi then was speaker? So well, that was Honorable Ike Ikenga Ugochi representing India to uh, North South constituency uh, in the House of Representatives. He is from Imo State and not a rivers man, but because that he loves uh, uh, he loves speaking truth to power, and that he's a true friend of River State, and that uh, he speaks for the voiceless, and that uh, he cannot watch uh, illegality uh, reign supreme, and this is why he has taken the, the bull by the horn to do what he's doing fearlessly. Uh, he's our hero here in the studio of Irish TV particularly on stewardship with SNB uh, from the studio of Irish TV in Port Akat. Ukochiro, you are a hero and we celebrate you for being with the Rivers people, for standing with the governor of River State, for standing with all the right-thinking people of River State. We salute you, Ukochiro, for speaking truth to power. Everybody was, the media, the social media was awash with untruth. But you, 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 you came to the public to tell everybody that in the country and in, in River State 
that that is not the interpretation of the ruling of the appeal court. The appeal court did not uh, discuss the legality, you know, of the membership of Amiruni and 24 others. And that what the appeal court talked about, the ruling was, the ruling bothered only on the case of jurisdiction of uh, Justice Wally, who had earlier uh, declared uh, that uh, Amiruni should not parade himself as speaker and of course his members should also parade themselves as members of the House of Assembly. That was what the appeal court ruled on and that the state high court does not have the jurisdiction. The appeal court did not say that uh, Amiruni, you are now right, you are now the right honorable speaker of the state house. He didn't say so. And that the 24 others, you can now go back and take over your seat. He didn't say so. Thanks to Ugo Chiyere, who spoke truth to power. Thanks to Ugo Chiyere, whom everybody, any very right thinking person in the river state should congratulate for being with the governor. Ugo Chiyere, cheers to you. They are not going back. And I want to call on the IG. If there's any of your men still remaining in any of the local government headquarters in River State, remove them. It's unconstitutional. What are they doing there? Are you trying to keep somebody who's standing have expired in office? So if the Inspector General of Police have not moved anybody that is in that local government, unless he's there for the purpose of helping the local government uh, administration that is there to do their work, but is there to stop people from entering the council, it's unconstitutional. That will be taking us back to the crisis of the Western House of Assembly and what the police did that led to constitutional crisis. Because you cannot, there is no way that somebody whose tenure has expired completely, completely. And then in a modern day Nigeria, you now. Stewardship with SNB. SNB. All right, uh, I'm still joined in the live studio by Princess Suala uh, Lawson Jack. She represents um, the women, uh, Rivers Women in Diaspora, and she's here to talk about uh, what is happening in the state. I'm pretty sure you're very proud of uh, uh, Ikenga Kukuchiri. You said, is it your friend? <laughs> Absolutely, not my friend, but my chairman when I ran for Deputy elections, uh, yeah, 2019. Okay. And from that time, honestly, I'm super proud to be connected to such a man. You know, when I saw him during uh, that time being the chairman to the opposition, I said, yes, this is the kind of man we want in Nigeria. Mm. And he has been like that for the years. He's always coming through. I'm super proud to be part of yes. his uh, uh, political party. Okay, you're super proud of Ikenga Ukochiri. So also we're proud of him. Uh, from the desk of uh, stewardship with SMB. Well, uh, on this segment, uh, we'll take your calls because uh, this matter concerns every one of you that are watching us. Control room, let's have a telephone line displayed on the TV screen. It's already there. Take advantage of it and call us, but do want to turn down the volume of your TV set or move away from your TV so that we can have a smooth conversation. Don't also forget that we are on Go TV channel 142 and Start Time channel 113. This program is streamed live. You can also watch us on all of those platforms that we've mentioned here on YouTube and on Facebook at RSTV Online. Uh, and then we are also live here on Terrestrial on GoTV. You can also watch us on, on Start Times. You can also watch us on either of those platforms. Okay, so, Princess, it appears that uh, some people are bent on throwing the state into a deep political and social crisis. Uh, what must the good people of River people do at a time like this, in your opinion? You know, before you ask that question, I was just, you know, thinking and turning it in my heart. Why someone like Ogochinere, who is not even an indigenous of River State, will not once, but again and again, come out and be so vocal with the truth? Maybe because he's an activist. I don't think so. I don't think so. We have a lot of activists here in uh, River State. So what is wrong with us? So why won't we, as indigenous of River State, take it as a matter of duty and responsibility to say we want peace for truth's sake, for posterity's sake, for, you know, 
a lot. They know the truth. Uh, SMB. Since I came, I've been asking. Like I said, I've been going around mixing with the people, and you hear, uh, you hear them tell tales of war. Who do they want to bury the cat? Who do they want to come? You know, put him or herself out there. This is for everyone. This is for all rivers, men and women to come out. The youths must come out as a matter of responsibility and duty to make sure that we have peace and to allow our dear governor do the work that God has given to him to do for the people of River State. All right, we have a caller here. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Okay, I can say to the line person, I will take your calls, but please play by the rules of the studio. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. I don't want to believe that the telephone lines are acting up but keep trying you get to us uh, because it's an all-important discourse that we are all involved in and so uh, it will be uh, most interesting to get viewer uh, engaged in the conversation that we are in here uh, okay so at a time like this what do you expect from the governor's legal team they should just do what is needful and no matter what is going on, it is the place of the legal team to stand on the path of truth, to open the eyes of those uh, people in the judiciary that are being compromised. That is not all about money, but the truth. Because lives depend on what they do. The state, the nation at large, re depends on what comes mm from their judgment. Hello? 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 Alright, uh, we, we have to just continue with that call because it's not useful to the program. Alright, you, you may have to continue with your thoughts. You were saying that uh, oh, yeah. calling on the people of River State to... Uh, yeah, the, 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 the Lego... Okay, we have another call here. Sorry to interject. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your name and where are calling from, please? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us? Hello, can you hear us? Oh, we are so sorry that telephone lines are really acting up. It's not our make it. Perhaps uh, your network provider uh, should be playing. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello? Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your name and where are you calling from, please? Yeah. Yeah, my name is Eugene Bright. Eugene Bright, welcome to our program. Yeah. Well, I'm coming from uh, Okay, Eugene Bright. slow in using his executive powers he has the power to um, declare anybody wanted with an executive fiat but what he called executive orders 
to declare anybody wanted. Any of these instructors, those who have come to pour invectives on him publicly, that he hasn't really done so. Should he continue this way? That is the heart of a true reverse man. Like we said, we don't throw the baby and the bad water. That they are being misguided, that they are being like pushed by whatever instance to do the wrong thing does not mean as a father of the state he should do what they are doing. That is what that's that that's what makes him different. That's what makes him the governor that he is. I mean, to to meekness does not mean weakness. You understand what I mean? Meekness means you you're so powerful yet you can put that power to good use and not to use it for your own self i think that's a good good thing going for him all right yes sir right. paula hedro good afternoon hello is that your who please the issue we are having is not issue that is quite I as a person look at it as a future problem. So and we advise that let every way up and pay to go. And go to the main tools that are causing problems in River State for us to have. Is this a spiritual problem? Did you say it's a spiritual problem? Yes, it's a spiritual problem. So the witchcraft, witchcraft will be those who that are doing those things are never for the witchcraft to be. <laughs> Okay, okay, thank you. That's right. I didn't see this coming. Uh, from the spiritual... S uh, SMB, I will, uh, uh, yes, I will confirm what he, he said because when I first came in, you know, I, like I said the first uh, time I was here, that there used to be this ambience about River State. But when I came in that first time, I found that River State was like in thick darkness. But in a couple of days, I also testified that there's a bright light coming, and we're getting there mm. by the social grace of God. Right. And the light has Good gone. afternoon. Well, Good afternoon. Afternoon. Your name and where you're calling from. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in your opinion, what are the options available for the governor to take if he must survive uh, the impending salvos? from them in the group be focused like we said and he said it too that he's determined regardless the distraction to you know keep his eyes on the goal he's there for a purpose he's there for four years by the special grace of God and four more years we are saying in here divinely and we say amen to that mm -hmm. and within that time our advice is for him to Keep focused on the goal and keep doing what he's doing for River State. All right. One last call on the program. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Merci. Call out. All right. All right. All right. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, we're, we're getting you. All right. Thank you. Prayer. Is, prayer. Is All right. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you so much for your thoughts with us. Divinity has come to play. Yes. Divinity. Not just to pray. There's a part prayer does. Faith without action is dead. I know the rivers people everywhere, they are praying. In the offices everywhere. Pray and then back it up with action. And that is go there and tell each other the truth. Don't wait for somebody to take the responsibility. It is on every rivers man woman and youth to stand up for river state mm -hmm. against every distraction i will end it there all right uh if i may quote uh, ugo chire who spoke earlier on in that uh, video clip 
and that is said that the interest of one man is irrelevant. And um, the Amiwili group are all doing all of these for the sake of one man. And that let this not throw Nigeria into constitutional crisis. And that the said Amiwili and 24 others actually swore to an affidavit before a federal high court that have indeed defected from a PDP to APC. How come now they are wriggling out of blame? They are struggling to see that uh, they still remain in what party? We don't know. But they want to stay in the House of Assembly. That's our program today. And I want to thank Princess Wala, Lawson and Jack, uh, uh, Rivers Woman representing uh, Rivers people in diaspora. Thank you so much for your time again. You're welcome. We appreciate you. And we know that you'll be with us again when we call it next Friday. Hopefully. All right. My name is Solomon Nelson Bray. I'll see you again next week, Monday, when this program will kickstart in the studio again. Bye-bye. Stewardship with SNB. with SNB. It's proven. You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it all about? Beckoning on you occupying that public office to give account of your stewardship. To be, to be that point, you see, it's the governor of this state, and he's the leader and head of our, of our party. Politics on the menu. I don't know what will happen. The governor needs whatever directive he brings, I will follow. What about the surprises? Action that I was set them to follow will be taken for my witness. I will surprise them. Watch Stewardship at 12.30 p.m. on weekdays. Stewardship with SNB, a new trajectory to broadcast journalism. Join us. Stewardship with